it's Alexandra with New Mexico Historic Sites and I'm coming to you today from Fort Selden. I have my mask on today as I am following all of the COVID safe practices. My coworker LA Jones is also here. She is wearing a mask as well. She is filming this for me, but she is standing 10 feet away as we talk right now. But I'm gonna go on ahead and take my mask off now as I would like to be able to share with you about one of the most common of the shrubs and small trees in the Chihuahuan Desert. She, however, is going to leave her mask on. If you've ever stepped on a thorn in the desert that went all the way straight through your shoe, chances are you've stepped on a mesquite branch. Mesquites happen to be some of the most common of the shrubs and small trees of the Chihuahuan Desert. Though small tree might be a bit of a misnomer, as some mesquites can actually grow upwards of 60 feet tall in the right conditions. Now all three of these mesquite trees that are found in the United States, the honey mesquite, the screw bean mesquite, and the velvet mesquite are a part of the legume family, also known as the bean family. Mesquite trees produce seed pods, like the one that's in my hand right here, and inside these seed pods are the mesquite beans. And these beans not only help to germinate, sprout new trees, but their low moisture content also makes them perfect for food storage out in the arid desert for both indigenous peoples and Europeans. For example, soldiers during the American Civil War were actually known to use mesquite beans in replace of their coffee beans during shortages of coffee beans. And we actually have a recipe that you can use, for example, if you would like to try this for yourself. Similar to many other plants in the Chihuahuan Desert, the mesquite has many unique adaptations which help it to survive in a desert environment with very little water. You are just as likely to find the mesquite tree in your neighbor's front yard as you are in the middle of the desert. And this is because of those thorns. Mesquite thorns are thick and not easily broken. And if you're not careful, you can easily cut yourself or your clothes. So while you might be able to recognize a mesquite tree if you find one in your neighbor's front yard, what you might not know is just how important this plant has been to thriving human civilizations for thousands of years. Indigenous peoples of the southwestern borderland, as well as the Spanish and Americans, have been using this plant for thousands of years for everything from food to medicine to beverages to firewood and to making furniture. The Pima Indians of southwestern Arizona even refer to this tree as the tree of life. They actually used the bark and the sap from the mesquite tree in order to make a hair dye. They would grind the bark and the sap together and boil it before putting that in their hair. They would cover that with a layer of mud, leave it overnight, and then wash it out the next morning. The wood can also be used to make tools, musical instruments, and furniture. It's also a really great choice for barbecuing. But what truly makes the mesquite tree the tree of life is its important medicinal uses. The earliest recorded use of mesquite comes from the Aztec, who would take the bark and the sap of the mesquite, grind it into a powder, and use it as a lotion. And we all know out here in the desert, lotion is really important. The Mescalero Apache also used the mesquite tree in order to make lotion, but they would take the leaves and grind that up in order to make their lotion. But if you don't need to make any lotion, you can take the sap and the bark and make a special tea out of it, one that might help your upset stomach or if you have some nausea from food poisoning, just like any other green tea might. The flowers can also make a special tea if you grind those up and mix them with water, just like you would the sap and the bark. The flowers and leaves might also help to heal your gum pain. The Comanche chewed on the leaves, like you would a chewing gum, in order to help ease their toothache. This really is a miracle tree. This makes it not only one of the most interesting plants of the Chihuahuan Desert, but also one of its most important. But make sure you're careful as you examine it, because those thorns really can get you. This incredible plant with its incredible qualities not only characterizes the Chihuahuan Desert, but also helps the people who live in it thrive.